Recently, Superintendent Dr. Malone visited the Davis School to see the new Chinese and science program. Superintendent Malone of the Brockton School Department paid a visit to the Davis School to learn more about the classes in Chinese and science the school has to offer to the students. To get this open and operating, we have been able to arrange for one of our math teachers who's in love with science to be in here two hours every day. So every class is going to work with hands-on science. Kindergarten, right through grade five, and then of course we always do it in six, seven, and eight, but sixth grade is gonna be privy to this lab. Uh, but it's just, it opens the world to hands-on. So it lends itself to the kids becoming more aware of their environment so that I think that they can help, it can help them become more responsible to their environment. It also lends itself to extending lessons in English, writing, comprehending. It extends lessons in math. This is, you know, this is a good avenue for us to take because it opens doors for kids. Today, uh, we got to work with a group of students from fourth grade uh, are working to manipulate uh, uh, technology, uh, equipment, uh, to use experiments to, uh, to make uh, science uh, a real practical application of, of what they're learning in, the, uh, in their classroom. I got to learn uh, a lot about water molecules and attraction and how water molecules cling to each other and create surface tension. Uh, the experiment that I participated in with the students was uh, an excellent uh, experiment. I give a lot of credit to the teacher for coming up with the idea to, to use wax paper and water uh, droppers and, and toothpicks for students to create the tension theory of how water molecules attract to each other and how they're also how the tension uh, forces them to stay together once they're co-joined. Uh, you know, for fourth graders, you know, I'm, I'm 41 and, and it made sense to me today. So I think these fourth graders today got a really practical application of a, of a complex standard and I think that the skill that was applied was, was, was great on behalf of the teacher. I'm very proud of what happens at the Davis. You know, right next door here we've got Chinese this year being offered to sixth and seventh grade under an exchange program from China. What I'm hoping to do is next year we're supposed to be able to get two Chinese teachers, so I want to move it down into lower grades, fifth grade and fourth grade, as well as moving it up. Same thing with Spanish. So now we have two languages here um, that the kids can partake of, you know, and, and it's good that they have that kind of a choice. Uh, and I think it also helps with them conquering English and, and what goes on in their daily lives. Recently we had the opportunity to hire two science specialists. They're teachers that are going in to model the Discovery Ed Tech Book, which we purchased, which is an online textbook that um, has interactive um, labs and lessons um, all aligned with the Massachusetts frameworks um, where Broughton is the first city um, or town in Massachusetts to have um, purchased this textbook and um, it was aligned specifically for the needs of Brockton so we're really excited about it. Um, we've already had some professional development to expose teachers to the tech book online that our two spe science specialists have conducted and um, just getting teachers familiar with how to access it and the response has been overwhelming. Teachers are really excited about teaching science this year and the two science specialists will be instrumental in, in, in um, getting teachers familiar with it and being accustomed to it and um, really just being comfortable with teaching science in a, in a new way. We're getting back to you know, reading, writing and math. Those are our goals and science is embedded within that. Uh, and I think you're going to see a lot of uh, effort this year uh, for us to really drill down and focus on uh, K to 3. We're looking at K to 3 as an area where we're really going to build strong literacy skills and numeracy skills. And we think that's going to help us to uh, continue to maintain the, the type of successes we've experienced in Brockton. We've done a great job over the last several years at the uh, middle school level and the high school level. Uh, and the elementary level this year is we're really uh, drill down some of our focus. And, uh, and I'm excited about, uh, about what we're going to do.